Hendrix, man. I don't show up. Can I go live? You can go live, sister. Oh. How have you doing live? Because I've been preaching this all morning, like literally. I've been talking. I'm not from here. Okay. From Arkansas. We got straight numbers, gun violence. Yeah. And we're killing each other. This, that's all that goes on in this town. You know, but she goes on all around. But still, like that's the town where I'm from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing these kids grow up. And then they killing each other. Right. I'm seeing people that I grew up with, they killing each other. You know what I'm saying? And it's all black people. Right. I'm like, we'll never be as one if we don't never come together. You saying yeah? I know. <laughs> we'll never be as one if we don't never come together. We hate each other. We the only race that don't like each other. Right. Like, it's so, crazy. You're absolutely correct, sister. Now, it's actually in the Bible that those things will happen to you. That's right. And it's cursed. You're right. It's cursed. Yeah, it's a, it's we cursed. are cursed. And it gets worse and worse as the generations come up. Right. Worse and worse and worse and worse. Read, check this out. So we got Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 20. Sorry, Isaiah, sorry, 19. Verse 19. These two things are coming unto thee. These two things are going to come unto the children of Israel. Read. Who shall be sorry for thee? Who going to be sorry for all the abominations that you just spoke about? The killing and the violence that you see in Arkansas. Yes. Little Rock, Arkansas. Right? Terrible. But they always on first 48. Always. Always. I was just talking about this, y'all. But look what I ran into downtown Fayetteville after I just showed y'all the slick slave house. That's right. Fayetteville is no different from Little Rock, Arkansas. No damn different. They call this Vietnam. Yes. The right. same thing that happened here is the same thing that happened in Arkansas. Right. The same thing that happened in Arkansas is the same thing that happened in damn uh, Louisiana. Anywhere. Right, New Orleans, anywhere. Anywhere. Now, this is what the Lord said. Read that one more time. These two things are come unto thee, who shall be sorry for thee. Desolation and destruction. What's going to be taking place? Desolation, Desolation and, and destruction. destruction. Desolation is when nobody's coming to help you. Mm -mm. And destruction is taking place in your own community. Mm. Read. And the famine and the sword. And the sword. The sword is a representation of death. Violence. Right? Who dropped off switches to put them on guns inside of black neighborhoods? Huh. Who came up with that idea? Well, how did that come? How the hell did that happen? How the how does little Ray Ray and little Man Man got AK 47s right. Let's not talk about the drugs in the community. Let's not talk about the drugs in the community. <laughs> that, 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 that's been that's taking killing place. Us. Right? <laughs> that's famine. That's destruction. Sense. You know? I'm just talking about this stuff, y'all. Like literally. Like, I feel like this is fine. By, I was just talking about this stuff. Like, for real. That's right. Read on. By whom shall I comfort thee? Thy sons have fainted. Thy sons. The thy sons is God's sons. That's right. Who is God's sons that everybody forgot about? It's the so-called black men. Yeah. Who is supposed to lead the world in righteousness? Black men are supposed to. Yeah. But what are black men doing in, in these days? They're yeah. all in the Christian church serving white Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. They're not helping their community. They don't care about their race Shout of people. Out. They sold their souls to all type of fraternities and etc. They're engulfed inside of the white men's sports and religions, right? right. But don't, don't black, we're not up and down the streets, you know, just trying to help and save our people. Right. We're doing it in vain ways, ways that have nothing to do with real, true revolution, which is first, Knowing who we are. Right. Identity is very important. We suffer our identity crisis. Black people have gone are. through the biggest identity crisis known to mankind. Right? Right? Yeah. Read on. They lie at the head of, the, of all the streets. Who's lying at the head of all the streets? God's chosen people, the men, so called black men, which are actually Israelites. Read. As a wild bull in a net. What's going on in Arkansas? As a wild, wild bull, bull in a net. net. They lying in the street as a wild bull in the net. That's talking about the killing. Mm. The bloods and the crips and the genies and the vice mm. lords that's in Arkansas. Mm. Right? Mm. Eight Trey Gates, the crips. Mm. GKB Gates, mm. the bloods. Mm. Billy Nations. Mm. Then we know they're about it. They're not paying nobody bills. But okay, let's go. Yeah, they're not paying nobody <laughs> let's bills. Go. Not on, like how it was originally formulated to be. It was supposed uh -huh. to be for protection of your own community. Right. Right. But now you done got bamboozled by the so-called white man right. and government infiltration to do what? To do harm to your own people. That's right. Kill a race by, by, by what? By letting them kill themselves. Right. That's what's happened to us. That is what has happened to us. Read. 
They are full of the fury of the Lord. They are full of the fury of the Lord, which is destruction. Mm -hmm. The fury of the Lord is judgment. Mm -hmm. And judgment has taken place to our people. No other race of the people is so lost but us. I swear to God. You can't go four or five generations to find out where your great grandfather comes from. You can't do it. Other races can name, literally name you seven generations of their forefathers. We can't. Right? Read. The rebuke of thy God. Read. Therefore now hear this, thou afflicted and drunken. This is what she's supposed to hear. Oh, afflicted and drunken. Well, look, I ain't going to turn this out when they get on here speaking, speaking the truth. I swear to God, they hate to hear the truth. Yeah, they hate to hear they the hate truth. They hate to hear it. Why? But because the Lord hear. said we're what? Afflicted and what? Afflicted and drunken. And you're drunk. You just want to get on Facebook to hear the, the, the local drama. The drama. The local the local situation that's taking place so that, you, so that you get a good laugh. It's all because of oppression, though. Yeah. We're so oppressed, we need a good laugh. Right. Right? We, we, we need an <laughs> extra shot of Hennessy. Right? right? We need to find some type of entertainment because we don't know nothing but oppression. Woo. Right, read. But not with wine. But not with wine. You're drunk, but you're not drunk with the wine of wisdom, knowledge, right. understanding. Right. Read. Thus saith the Lord thy Lord, and thy God that pleadeth the cause of his people. Read. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. So the Lord wants to take away all the things that we've been through. The Lord is he's waiting for us to take it away. Right. He's waiting to get us out of the projects and the slums, right, and the low-income houses and the impoverishment, and asking the so-called white man for some type of handout. There's no such thing as a black-owned business. That's not real. This whole new idea in the world, oh, you know, you know, I'm the first one in Arkansas, you know, to have this local business. You know, you post it all on, on Instagram. Who did you have to go to to get permission to open up that establishment, the so-called white man? Right. What are we going to think bigger than what we've uh, uh, been accustomed to? Mm -hmm. Just because you open up a building or you get some type <laughs> of uh, 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 land, guess who can take it from? The same people that put you in slavery. Mm -hmm. How right. do we formulate our own government, our own identity? That's why coming back to the law of the commandments of God, knowing that you're the Israelites. That's right. And they all go back to what the Lord said in the beginning. Go back to Deuteronomy. Chapter 11, verse 26. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11, and verse 26. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. A what? A, a blessing, blessing and, and a, a curse. curse. Read. A blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God. Everybody got commandments. Mm -hmm. When you, if you got in the house, apartment, you got commandments inside of that establishment. Tell people to do what? Take your shoes off when you come in. Don't step on my car. What better are you than God? Why would you not want to obey God's commandments? You wake up every day and obey the white man's commandments. You stop at that stop sign. Put your seatbelt on. You go inside of his courtroom. You take your hat off. You be respectful. <coughs> Just lock it. But nobody wants to obey God's commandments. What did God say do? God said, keep the Sabbath day. This is a day where you can just chill. Congregate with your race of people. Mm -hmm. Do your thing. Think about the commandments. Think about how God saved you out of Egypt from nasty Africans. We're not African. We was enslaved by so-called Africans, Hamites. We were. They, they put us in, and then they sold us to the so-called white men. Sure did. Right? Huh. Think about how they God did, destroyed them with the ten plagues. <laughs> think about how God saved us from the Babylonians and the, and the, 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 the Greek Empire and the Roman Empire. That's the same thing that's about to happen in America. Get ready for another salvation. Get ready for another restart of the earth. But you gotta come back to the commandments. A blessing and a curse, read. A blessing if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day. Read. And a curse. And a what? And, and a, a curse. curse. God said what? And a curse. Read. If you will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God. Aren't you tired of being cursed? Aren't you tired of waking up every day and spending money that doesn't belong to you? Our people have died for the cause of white supremacy. That's what everything is all about, buddy. Here it is in your pocket. You'd rather kill your brother for something. You open it up and a white man's face is on it. You're killing your brother for a street named after your slave owner. Right. 
What are you gonna die for something righteous? Die for your own people, man. Your race of people. Die for your entire nation. Not for something vain, man. Right? Because God said he's gonna put these curses on you niggas. That's what the Lord said. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 49. Verse 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore, therefore, because of your wickedness and your you want to do your own thing. Black people aren't people that just wake up and just do their own thing. Going down and down. That's how you're doing the truth. You're a chosen people. Right. You're a people that's supposed to have equity, dignity. Right? Who do you think taught the so-called white man how to build a civilization? Right. He learned it from us. He studied us. Right? He said, damn, I have to do this. I have to do it like how they did but I'm going to do it my own way in wickedness so this is how they built up Arkansas think about the architecture downtown Arkansas right now mm. think about the gentrification that's going on out there mm. the so called white man is doing that right mm -hmm. what did the Lord say therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies if you want to do your own thing I'm going to make you serve your enemy I'm going to make you serve a race of people that you taught how to wash and bathe themselves you taught them how to read but now you're going to have to serve them. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord's going to send the Englishmen against you. The Spaniard men. The conquistador men. Read. In hunger. And in thirst. Read. And in nakedness. Read on. And in want of all things. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. Now we destroy. Now we destroy. We don't even care about God anymore. What God said in the Bible does not even matter anymore, right? Because we are so destroyed, so lost, right? But guess what? There's a solution. The Lord said he's going to save our people straight right. up and down. Right. Only those that come back to the law, that is the commandments, right? Give me Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7. All right, give me Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. Whatever you got. 14 and 12. Okay. Book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 12. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. All right, so y'all sisters, the Lord brought y'all out here to do what? To hear the gospel. Not only that we're the Israelites, a lot of people know that we're the Israelites. But who is going to actually love God. I said, I'm going to do what the most I said. Whatever God say, I'm down with it. We do that in the world. Right. Our, women are, our women are meet a, a complete Negro man. When I say Negro man, I'm talking about a man that don't keep no, none of God's commandments. He done killed a thousand Negroes. He don't, he don't, he don't care about God. And she'll say what? I'll do whatever you say. Call him daddy. Right? But then when, when you read about God and hear what God said, you say, I ain't getting down with that. I just do what that man said or that woman. But what, if, what is our people going to say? I'm going to do what the Lord said. Guess what the Lord said? The daughters of Zion, princesses on the earth. They're supposed to wear dresses. Right? And that put a spirit on you. It put a, it a change the trajectory of our people. But we got to actually believe that. It's going to come a time in the earth where what? Where so-called white people are going to be brought down low. Our people are going to be brought down high. But the people that are going to be brought down high is those that do the will of the Father. Right. That's right. Nothing always stay the same. Right? Egypt fell. Right. Uh, 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 the Persians and the Medes, that kingdom fell. The Babylonians fell. So on and so forth. And guess what? This Greece. place is about to fall. Boom. And it's time for somebody to rise up. So what y'all going to do, sisters? Give me man's doors of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 20. The book of Proverbs, chapter 20, and verse 24. Right, listen to this. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Yeah, man's goings are the Lord. It's not by <coughs> coincidence, right, that you chose to walk this line of the strip rather than that one. Or you didn't choose to go that way. But the most high had you walk up to hear the gospel. Not only that, but to be even speaking about certain things that we're talking about right now. God got this aligned up. Right? 
So I pray that a seed was planted and that you take it and the most high waters, right? So that we can get the kingdom in the days to come. That's right. Because we don't got beautiful days ahead of us. I'm going to just tell you straight up. This is not the Christian church. All hell about to break loose out here. Right. Yeah, war, famine, pestilence, darkness, EMP attacks, World War Three. That's right. And the only thing that's going to save you in that day is your faith in the Most High. All right? So we're going to leave y'all with that, sisters. Thank you. Thank y'all for the word. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I appreciate that. All right, y'all sisters, be safe now. keep the commandments in the faith. If you don't, you're going to burn. If you don't believe that, I can read that to you from the Bible. I'm serious. I appreciate that. All praise to the most high. Let's go, but give me Zechariah 11. Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. For I am rich, and this is how this kingdom is established. Off of the hard labor of the saints, man. You know? The hard labor of the saints. You know, there's scientific studies that say your body can formalize and materialize to the things that you've been through in life. That's why they say, hey man, you got bags in your eyes. You didn't get no sleep. Right? They say things like the so-called black woman is the, the least desired woman on the earth. That's not true. It's not true in the spiritual sense. It's not true in the physical sense. But guess what? We've been through the most turmoil that things like that has happened. Right? Where your body can materialize into a, a, a lower state because of what you've been through in life, right? Think about and study people, study anatomy, man, study biology. Look at the people that are wealthy, right? And appears as though they have least stress in their lives. They have less skin wrinklage, right? They speak better for the most part because they have a better diet. They have better re resources. But look at go and look at a broken-hearted people. Look at them. They are jammed up and confused and discombobulated. No other race of people would have even survived the things that we've gone through, man. They wouldn't survive what? at all, whatsoever. Other races, they'll go through something minuscule, they'll just start dying, right? Like right now, the European race, they're dying off because World War III is taking place. That's right. They can't even produce anymore because they know that their kingdom is done. Right? So our people, we have to understand, we have to take care of ourselves spiritually so that we can live long. Right. Through the commandments. Right, read on. And their own shepherds pity them not. For I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord. But lo, I will deliver the men, every one, into his neighbor's hand. What the Lord say? I will I deliver the men, every one, into his neighbor's hand. Read and into the hand of his kings, and they shall smite the land, and out of their hand I will not deliver them. And out of their hands I will not <coughs> deliver them. Shalom, brother. Shalom. Okay. All Shalom. praise Shalom. to the Most High. Brother on the scene, man. Yeah. Brother made it out here through the spirit of power yes, of the Most High. Uh, uh. Uh, I see you, man. You know? And I will feed the flock of, of slaughter. Even you, O poor of the flock. And I took unto me two staves, the one I called beauty, and the other I called bands, and I fed the flock. Who is the, who is the two staves? <clears throat> the elect, man. What? The elect is the two staves, the Israelites. How you doing, sister? You believe in God? Yeah. You got a second here Bible verse? We're going to pray for you. All right, read on. Three shepherds also I cut off in one month, and my soul loathed them, and their soul also abhorred me. Then said I, I will not feed you. That, that, that dieth, let it die. 
and that that is cut is to be cut off, let it be cut off, and let the rest eat every one the flesh of another. And I took my staff, even beauty, and cut it asunder, that I might break my covenant which I had made with all the people. Right. And it was broken in that day. And so the poor of the flock that waited upon me knew that it was wor was the word of the Lord. And I said unto them, if you think good, give me my price. And if not, forbear. Right. So they waited for my price 30. So, so he out there casting lots. Hey, if you think this, do that. That's how the most I get down. Right, Jake, when are you going to see the signs of the Lord? So-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, like, see the signs, man. It's all it's all right here. It's all right here. Right? There's Israelite camps popping up out of nowhere. You get on YouTube, there's a new camp. Right? Every month, it's a new camp. You go to their oldest videos, three weeks, three weeks. God, God. Like, well, damn, the brother, hey, the brothers is waking up. Right? And then the other signs in the world, like destruction, like the so-called Jewish man being exposed that he's wicked. Right. When, did, when did the news start putting out on the news media that the Jewish people are doing wicked things in the earth, like tunnels under the ground? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they hide stuff like that. But you get on national television and news and different media outlets, they're exposing how wicked these people are. Like, why would you have tunnels under the ground with beds and the beds got stains on them and all type of crazy stuff, right? Those are signs of the times. Right. Give me, hold that, get us uh, Second Thessalonians 2 and 3, I believe. Right, these are signs that the most high is trying to literally wake up the, the earth, right? You got to wake up, man. You got to wake up. <clears throat> the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2. And verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. And that what? And, and that, that man, man of sin, sin be revealed. revealed. So the man of sin has to be revealed. <coughs> And the top men of sin is the Amalekites, the Jewish man, the man that literally, why would you claim God's tribe? Why would you claim the tribe that Yahweh shines from? That's odd. Like they could have at least said, well, I'm, well, I'm not going to disrespect the other tribe. But they could have, why would you just say Judah? Like, don't do that. That's wicked. What? But instead they say, you know, top tribe. yeah, I don't, I don't give a damn. I'm going to just say I'm the top tribe. And then portray the being for hundreds and hundreds of years. So he has to be exposed for the liar and the deceiver that he's in. And our people actually believe that. They believe, oh, well, the Jewish people, they're God's chosen people. Like, that's cringing to hear. That's cringing to know that there's actually God's chosen people that think another race of people is God's chosen people. That'll make you sad, man. That'll make you want to pull out your beard out. That'll make you want to sit in a dark room and just cry. Then it'll make you want to go out and teach. Right? Uh, Read on. The son of perdition, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God. He exalt right. himself above all that is called God. Right? Who's bringing this out? Our righteous brother Paul. Right? Where is he getting this from? He's getting this from the law and the prophets. This isn't nothing new. Paul knew that the so-called white man was wicked, right? A lot of people think that Paul is out there for non-Israelites, but he's not. He's out there for the Israelites, and he's getting on the wicked, right. you know? Or that is worship, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was with when I was yet with you. Where did he get that from? Go to um, Ezekiel 28 and 1, I believe. Again, Isaiah chapter 14 and verse, uh, verse, verse 9. Ezekiel chapter 28 and verse 1. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, 
Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God. I sit in the seat of God, right. in the midst of the, of the seas. Yet thou art a man. Yet thou art what? Yet, Yet thou, thou art, art a man. man. So this is a dark saying, talking about the so-called white man. Right? The so-called white man is better. He's known as the Prince of Titans. Right? <clears throat> Read on. And not God. Though thou set thine heart as the, the heart of God. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. And there is no secret that they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches. And hast gotten gold and silver wow. into thy treasures. So with their wickedness, they got what? Gold and silver into thy treasures. Read. But thy, by thy great wisdom and thy and by thy traffic. Do we have to go into the, the, the history of how the wicked of this society got gold and riches? Should we have to go inside of that history? The so-called white man is known for robbing the earth. Right? Robbing natural resources. Robbing people. Still in islands. He's known for that. To this very day, he's doing it. Like we were speaking all earlier, the so-called white man is now trying to uh, um, indoctrinate tribes that are in the Amazon that's been there for many years and uh, indoctrinated them with Christianity and all type of stuff. There was one eating by a missionary, they call it a missionary. Went over to a landmass, I don't know which landmass it was, of some unmarked tribes. Unmarked meaning uncontacted by the so-called white men. And he tried to like, you know, spread about white Jesus Christ. And what did the unmarked tribe do? He killed them. Murdered them. And all praise to the most high for that. Right? Because that was an Israelite right. defending his rightly bodily to, to, to roam the earth and do whatever the spirit of the Lord tells him to do. Right? So that Edomite tried to give him some wickedness, which was white man's Christianity, and the, the brother killed him. <coughs> Put him to death. I'm talking about murdered him. And then you got some of the other tribes that's out there. They'll kill Esau when they try to come and get him, and then they'll rip their bodies apart. Take out all their organs, look inside of their stomach, right? And, and leave oh. it out there for the, the wilderness to, to, to feast off of. That's Mike. A lot of people say, well, what are you talking about? That's, that sounds pretty dramatic and evil. And who, who would like stuff like that? Well, who would like slavery for 500 years? What? Who would like buck breaking in front of a family? <coughs> What's going on, brother? Okay, that's the brother man. All praise to the most high. Nice to see you again, King. Yeah, we're man. just out here just, you know, speaking upon righteous things. Things that's about to happen in the earth. Things that has happened in the earth. That's all. Right? Read on on that. Verse 2. Verse 3. Salah. Verse 5. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic hast thou increased thy riches, and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. Therefore thus saith the Lord God. And it says their heart is lifted up because of their riches. Right? Their heart is lifted up because of their riches. You cannot go to ancient families that actually rule the society and just have a conversation with them. They don't come and help out the people in the hood. Every time a so-called Negro makes it out the so-called hood, go to the NBA or sign a record deal, what's the first thing they say? Well, I gotta go back to my hood and help them out. You know, I gotta go back, you know, I wanna build things for my community, et cetera, et cetera. Why can't the so-called white man do that? Leave that for him, right? He got all the money, right. the Medici family and the Rothschilds. Let them come over here and help people out. You don't see them throwing some type of food drive or, how you doing, sister? Can I ask you a quick question? You believe in God? I do. Can I read you a quick Bible verse? Yeah, so they don't uh, they don't do food drives and uh, help people out. Community give back. Yeah, they don't do that type of stuff, right? 
But lead it up to our people, man. We, we try to find that one. Hey, you take your son to basketball practice? Hey, you know he the same. You know he, hey, he, go, he the one. He gonna get himself out of here now. Right? Negro is looking for a savior. Because we need one. <laughs> right? But we do have a savior, though. My shirt, your house shot. Right. Right? You know? Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of God, behold, therefore I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations. The what? The, the terrible, terrible of the nations. nations. That's what's about to happen to America. The terribleness of the nation <laughs> is about to utterly annihilate America in a war. Right? The Rothschilds not ready for World War III. Right. They think they are, but they're so rich off of their um the abundance of wealth that they have acquired <coughs> so like, over the last 500 years. They can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kim Jong-un. Right? What's the other dude named uh, uh, Russia? Joe, Joe, uh, uh, Putin, Putin, man. Putin, yeah. Hey, Putin got the face of a, of a, he got the face of a bear. <laughs> right? He got the, and that's fitting, he got the face of a, of a, of a mighty warrior. Right? Them Rothschilds, man, they all filled with lesbianism and homosexuals now. They always have been, but even much more so today. You know? And they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. They shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. That's a mighty account. Meaning, other words, a few words and a lot, what is God going to do to a bear or a white bear? Utterly destroyed. Indeed. Indeed. You know, that's literally what that means. Because right. of all Indeed. the things that you've done, I'm going to put the spirit on other people to do what you've done to other people. Indeed. I mean, do, to do to you what you've done to them. Right? God's going to put the spirit on other people to do to America as America has done to them. That's in the Bible. That's Bible. Right? Right? You know? What thou yet say before him that slayeth thee? I am God? Well, thou, now, and when you get destroyed, are you still going to say you God? Are you still going to be proud? <laughs> right? You know? You know? But thou shalt be a man and no God. Thou shalt be a man in that day. <laughs> right? Thou shalt humble thyself. Right? Thou right. shalt be corrected and rebuked. Strongly rebuked. Right? The Most High is going to mock the wicked. Right? And he's going to use us to do it. Read. In the hand of him that, that slayeth thee, thou shalt die the death of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers. For I have spoken it. For I what? For I have spoken it, said the Lord Yahweh. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of tyrants. All right, that's it on that. Book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph, a flame, and the house of Esau, for stubble. For what? For, for stubble. stubble. Mm -hmm. And they shall kindle in them, and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it. Verse 19, and thy, excuse me, and they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, and they of the plain, the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim, and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead, and the captive of the most, of, excuse me, of the host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, even unto Zephyr, 
and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Sapphira, right. shall possess the cities of the south, and the Savior in the old. shall come up on Mount Zion. Read that one more time. And saviors, and saviors shall, shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. And the kingdom shall be the Lord's, man. All right, we can't wait for that day. I'm serious, man. Right? Yeah. We can't wait for that day. Give me Isaiah 25 and 7. Yeah, up. So look at Job chapter 4, starting at verse 8. Even as I have seen. What's up, my boy? You gotta come up here and top it up with. You know what it was? <laughs> Job chapter 4, verse 8. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. So I can read that one more time. Job chapter 4 verse 8 in the reads, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. That's right. Isn't uh by the blast of God, isn't that the next verse? Come. Huh. Yeah, keep on keep on reading that. By the blast of God. Verse 9. By the blast of most high God. By the blast of Yahweh, they perish. They perish. You see that? So if you do wrong. God is going to blast you. Right. That's literally what that means. And nothing deserves a more blasting than this wicked landmass that we stand in. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is Babylon the Great in the Bible. That's right. You got some Judites, some Jakes now trying to say that this is uh, Jerusalem, this is Israel, and this is. They're going into that crazy madness place. But this land is going to be destroyed, man. Right. It's going to be a new land. The Lord said, by the blast of Yahweh, what? All praise to the Most High. All praise to the Most High. By the blast of God, they perish. Right. And by the breath of his nostrils, are they consumed. The roaring of the lion and the voice of the fierce lion and the teeth of the young lions are broken. See the, that? Read. the old lion perishes for lack of prey. And the stout lions well are scattered abroad. Now a thing was secretly brought to me, and my ear received a little thereof. Like, what's going on, brother? Can I ask you a quick question? You believe in God? Oh yeah. You got yes, a second floor Bible verse. Yes. Right. Give me Isaiah 44 1. It's Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 1. Listen to this, brother. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. What race of people did God choose? Us. Us. What's our name? Israelites. We're the Israelites. Now, us as the Israelites, why are we still in this condition? That's a good question. That's a good question. Give me Isaiah 59 and 1. Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. The Lord wants to hear our prayers. <coughs> We've been singing prayers and songs mm -hmm. to get out of this condition. Mm -hmm. the, Lord, the Lord's head is not slack that it cannot save. The Lord will save you. But why are we in this condition? But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Everybody's God. Between you, you and, and your, your God. God. The nation's God. Between and you and, and your God. God. God said your iniquities have separated between you God is the God of everybody. He's your That's God. Right. If you want your God to hear you, you have to do what your God said do. Right. Which was what? Separate yourself from those iniquities. Separate yourself from those iniquities. Now, what is iniquity? Sin. Iniquity is sin. What is sin? Anything that's not in His word, in His will. First John. First John, chapter three, verse four. Right. Whatsoever commit. Excuse me, whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Read. For sin. For what? For, for sin. sin Read. Is the transgression of the law. Sin is what? Anything that's not in alignment with his will. Transgression of the law. Read it one more time. 
Book of First John, chapter for, three, verse four. For sin is. For sin is a transgression of the law. What is sin? Transgression. Transgression of the law. They be three laws of God that Israelites have to keep. Ten commandments. Three, three of them. Because ten is just that's that's a small amount. <sighs> three. If you can name three that's in the so-called ten or the three that's outside of the so-called ten, whatever you got. Uh, adultery. Okay. I should have, uh, yeah. Murder. No murder. The swine. Oh, oh sorry. I thought you were Though he divided the hook. You know what swine is, right? You know? And be cloven footed. You, you eat that? Alright, although he's cloven footed, he divided the hook. What does the Lord say to this brother? Ready to chew it. Oh, yet he cheweth not the cut. He doesn't properly digest his food. He is unclean to you. He's unclean to you, brother. Read. Of their flesh shall you not eat. You can't eat swine. And their carcasses shall you not touch. Why? They are unclean to you. Is there anywhere in the Bible where God changed that? It's not. It's not. It's not, not Acts chapter 10, not 2 Timothy, 1 Timothy, not any other scripture that people believe that God changed that. We can't eat swine. That's right. Otherwise, God would have came down and changed the molecular structure of the swan. Right? That never happened. Right? right. So we eat that. That's it. Right. That bacon, that meat lover's pizza, et cetera, et cetera. Red hot dogs. Red hot dogs, pig feet, mm -hmm. pig ears. We can't eat that no more because we Israelites. Of their, of their flesh shall you not eat, and their carcass shall you not touch. They are unclean to you. So again. that has separated between us and our God. Right. How many so-called black Hispanic and Native Americans are eating swine right this moment, this second? Millions. Probably <laughs> millions. And what do you think God is doing? Shaking his head. Shaking his head. God is actually sending <laughs> death angels and killing niggas. That's right. That's actually what he's doing. Why he right. Angels are coming down and they're killing Negroes. Why? Because they break out. Or the Lord's house first. So that would be a sin. Right. One of them. So that's what we have to repent from. We gotta face the east, say, Lord, forgive me for that sins. Didn't know. Most high watch and sit away. And that's when grace and mercy kicks in. That's when the blood of the Lamb kicks in. Right? Give me another commandment. Read on to the next verse. Verse 9. Then shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever have fins and scales. In the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. You know? And all that have not fins and scales in the seas, in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. What can you not eat that's in the waters? I was trying to hear that part. Okay, read really it again. Verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever have fins and scales. In the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall you eat. So the Lord said it has to have fins and scales on it for you to eat. Right. Something with fins and scales would be seven. Five. Uh, flounder. You got fins and scales on it. Right. You can clean it properly. What does not have fins and scales on it? Water. Because God said if it doesn't have fins and scales on it, Oyster. you can't eat it. Oysters does not have fins calamari. and scales on it. Can you eat calamari? No, that would be sin. That would be wickedness. 
because that object is created to do something in the water. A very specific purpose. Like you were created for a purpose. That object was created for a purpose. Right. If you take away the shrimp, the crab, the lobster out of the ocean, what happens to the ocean? It gets polluted. Now our waters are clean. If your waters are clean, your airs are clean. If your airs are clean, you're unclean. Right? So the whole infiltration of the the whole uh, um, ecosystem of the earth is, is off because we're not keeping God's commandments. Correct. So you can't eat shrimp, crab, pork, lobster. That would be sin according to the Most High. Right. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So we gave you two commandments. No pork. What else? Nothing without no fins or scales. Nothing without no fins or scales. We'll give you another commandment. Give me uh, numbers. Give me numbers. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, and verse 38. <clears throat> Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So the children of Israel are God's chosen people. That's who you are. We have to keep God's commandments. No pork, no homosexuality, no, uh, no breaking the Sabbath day, right? No things in the waters without fringes scales. This is another commandment. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Right, so this brother got fringes in the borders of his garments. Right? Read. Throughout their generations. How long? Throughout, Throughout their, their generations. generations. So we're supposed to wear fringes as Israelites. Right? This is if you believe in the Lord. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Read on. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. Right, so we gave you three commandments through the spirit and power of the Lord that Israelites are supposed to keep. Right. 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 Do you have any questions about that? I, I, I'll take it into account. Okay. I'm, I didn't know a lot of it. Okay. Now, how did you know that we were the Israelites? You said what? Y'all's presence, y'all's tongues. Well, how did you know that you were in Israel? Uh, I grew up in church. So, um, yeah. Does the Bible say specifically how we're in Israel? Can't, can't tell you. All right, go to Deuteronomy 28. Let me show you this real quick before you leave. Deuteronomy 28. And 68. How, do we, how do we get to a bear? Slave. What was slave? How do what, what happened to the slave? Like, what was the transportation? Is that in the Bible? Oh. All right, give me Deuteronomy one and one. Deuteronomy one and one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Moses spake to who? All of Israel. All of Israel. Deuteronomy eleven to twenty six. Deuteronomy eleven to twenty six. This is what he spake to the Israelites. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. Read. A blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God. If the Israelites keep the commandments, they'll be blessed. Read. Which I command you this day. And a curse if you will not obey the commandments. If the Israelites don't keep the commandments, what is God going to do to the Israelites? I mean, no, what, what does it specifically say, though? I'll just now. It said if you, break, if you keep them, you'll receive a blessing. You break them, you receive what? Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Now, these are the Israelites that we're reading about. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into where again? Into, into Egypt, Egypt again. again. When the Israelites were in Egypt, who freed them out of Egypt? Moses. He said, Pharaoh, let my people what? What did he let them go from? Slavery. So when God said they're going to go to Egypt again, as a curse for breaking the commandments, what are they going to have to go to again? Slaves. Right. Now we're reading about what people? What's the name? Read again from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slavery again. With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. On a plane. With, with ships. ships. What people went to slavery on a ship? Well, what did God say? That is your life. That's right. That's right. Are you an African? <laughs> God didn't say Africans would go to slavery or slavery. That's right. You got people that's in 
that in that land mass <coughs> actually sold the Israelites right. to save those slave ships. They're right. Israel. It's ships, you know? By the way, real earth, I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. For, unto who? Unto, unto your, your enemies. enemies. For bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. That's how we know we're the Israelites. That's right. That's right. plain. God said the Israelites will be sold into slavery on ships. So what is your God given nationality? That's right. Take that word black and throw it into the Euphrates River. Right? And let Leviathan eat. Come on. But don't take black and put it in your heart. Take what God called it, brother, in Israel. Right. One of the 12 tribes of Israel. Alright? So we gotta keep God's commandments. Absolutely. Right. In the faith of his own begotten son. Right. All praise. Now, That's so what three commandments did you. Did you got the swine. Okay, no swine. <laughs> Anything that doesn't have business is scared. That's right. And the last one. There's a little dress code. Uh, I can't remember the name. It was Fringes. Yeah, Fringes. Fringes. Yeah. It's in the book of numbers. So, so I can just be clear on the. Fish come out of the water, you must know that that, whatever that is, that it had fins and scales. Okay? See, some people don't get it when we say fins and scales. Isaiah, <coughs> chapter 25 and verse 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death and victory. And the Lord Yahweh will wipe away tears from off all faces. And the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth. For the Lord Yahweh has spoken. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. This is the Edomite's God. Lo, this, this is, is our God. God. Lo, this, this is, is our God. God. We, we have waited for him. What have we done? We, we have, have waited, waited for him. him. What was slavery about? We, we have, have waited, waited for, for him. him. And he will save us. This is the Lord, Yahweh. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 16, and verse 19. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. What the Lord say? And, and I, I will, will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. What the Lord going to do to the Israelites? And, and I, I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Read. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. <laughs> it's the book of Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 11. I, even I, am the Lord Yahweh, and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared and have saved, and I have shewed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore ye are my witnesses, said the Lord Yahweh, that I am most high God. Yea, before the day was I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work and who shall let it? Thus said the Lord Yahweh, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake I have sent to Babylon and have brought down all their nobles and the Chaldeans whose cry is in the ships. I am the Lord Yahweh, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 26 and verse 6.